girls, we're going to keep this one short for the attention span. Um, yesterday, stock market had a big surge at the open. We all saw it going into the um, into the open from the pre-markets, fifteen hundred points. You know, nothing ridiculous, but and several huge online brokers were hacked since uh, people were logged out and couldn't log in. And that happens when you're hacked. Uh, don't believe them for a minute when they tell you that uh, it was an unprecedented surge of activity because there's a uh, continuity of business plans to take care of, care of issues like that. And don't listen to them when they say they were running a maintenance program. Nobody runs a maintenance program in the business world at uh, <laughs> 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time on a Monday whether the market's good, bad, or ugly. I did not check. Uh, there were several huge, I'll name drop Merrill Lynch because that's Bank of America. I don't get much bigger than that. Um, I did not check banks like I should have because um, um, I don't have a bank out of the credit union, but I should have. But several brokers um, were out. So banks were probably out. And where am I going with this? So tonight, I don't know how long it was on, it was uh, in effect for, but tonight, YouTube, worldwide outage, really? YouTube, worldwide outage? Well, that's Google. That means Google was hacked, worldwide outage. So somebody's doing some test runs, and this is some real scary shit now. Real scary shit. It wouldn't be coming from anywhere but the the good old communist Chinese party. But we're talking about uh, finances going, saying about YouTube videos, finances going, personal information going, power grids, uh, factories, military weaponry, all of this shit. None of it's internal servers anymore. Internal servers you can make secure. This stuff from the outside you can... All you do is battle it. That's why in the day of, uh, and I said I'd keep it short, and I will, but that's why you're, that's why in the days of zero interest, you're still paying double digits on your credit card because there's, with 15 years at the biggest worldwide bank in the world, um, there's so much fraud written off every year now that those rates have to stay up there to cover it. And in case, in case you didn't know that, but that's the truth. And, uh, Nobody does maintenance and things like that on a Monday morning. It's all done in the middle of the night, Sunday, meaning Saturday going into Sunday. And if it doesn't work, it's rolled back before you even know there was a problem that was going to happen. So, so it's very scary. Everybody could have this could make the Equifax hacks not, hack nothing but a big joke. This could make nothing, everything a big joke. Everything, right? Kim Jong-un's got a nuclear missile, guy has nuclear missiles. He doesn't have the kind of cyber security to stop somebody somewhere else from launching one. He's not in control. We may, we may not be either. But the biggest scare is, you know, not even my, not even your and my bank account disappearing, but let's say they go in and uh, they wipe out the U.S. Treasury. Gone. I mean, they would never tell us. They would just put up fake numbers, but, uh, you know. It's a very scary thing to think of hacks of this size. So, and we know Google has vast, vast ties, not just to the left, not just to the left in the socialist, communist side of the Democratic Party, right? We might as well just call it what it is. And mega ties with China. So we're just going to have to uh, insist, well, you know, Biden would never do it. He's not going to insist that these people cut ties with these people that are out to get us and the rest of the free world. These are all just test runs. And so that's, in other words, the point being, even though I'm going to hit five minutes now, is yesterday big financial institutions were, were struck. And tonight it's Google through YouTube. That's two huge events one day after the other. And I just don't recall anything like that happening. All right, so we're out, but I don't know. It might be time to tell everybody to send us a send us a check and 
go get the cash and put it on it run on the banks and put the money under the mattress. Because I just don't know. I don't know. I um I don't have the courage to just rump and run uh, run and do a run on gold myself because of uh because of this but it's definitely time to grab something paper. But anyhow, if you got financial shit on your on anything wireless, especially your phone, do yourself a favor and get it all off of there. And if you don't, because at the very least, have a desktop that's connected by a wire at the very least. And if you don't at least have that, just forget about it. Just forget about it. And uh, there it is. I'm done.